Yeah, what's up, guys? Come on, guys. Come back with another view after like a month. Finally. Of not doing reviews because we've been lazy. Yeah. Let's be honest here. So, uh, we got two new things. We went down to Tangiers and scooped up some stuff. It was like two hours and 30 minute drive. But that's besides the point. Yeah. We picked up CB Cane Mint or Burley Cane Mint from Eric down there. Got 500 grams of that. And he's got regular cane mint. We're basically comparing the two. And there is a difference between the two. Big difference. Some people may not feel the extra. I don't know how loud that is, but uh, some people m say that they don't feel the extra buzz, but right now, I'm feeling the buzz pretty strong compared to New Aura. It's like a major increase. Indeed. The main difference that I've noticed is Burley. This is just ugh, this is just me. I don't get the whole minty feel in my throat like normal cane mint. It to me it just tastes like the flavor of cane mint, which is nice. But I prefer the whole minty feeling, cooling effect. I think it's the same. More. I think for me, I think it's the same thing. I got both of them, and this has a little stand right now, so. Based off previous smoking of regular cane mint, they're about the same. This batch though, that we got straight from Eric is, to me, it it's a lot stronger cane mint because when I'm mixing it, it ices my nose over and I still smell the cane mint after I put it away for like two or three minutes and it's like basically just in my nose when I'm mixing it. Yeah, the smell of it is strong, just like any other cane mint, but I still see that there's a difference. I don't know, some people say, I don't know, I don't know if it was supposed to be less of a tobacco taste and more buzz, or more of a tobacco taste and more buzz, but in this batch, I'm not really tasting too much more tobacco flavor than Noir versus Burley. What? What are you doing over there? What? 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 Alright, moving on. <laughs> Got some background noise. Oh um, my god. I know, the only place that's carrying it right now is Ultimate Hookah, and for just wanting to try it, it's a little pricey unless you're buying a bunch of stuff because I think it's 18 for a 250, and then 11 for flat rate shipping. So that was it's not really worth it if you just want to try one bag of it anyway. I don't know. When we went down to the lounge, prices are pretty level, but. Meh. Definitely worth the trip than the uh, San Diego if you haven't been. We'll describe our adventure because uh, everyone else's you can, difference. You could figure yeah. it out on your own. Yeah. But if you ever do go there, call before, square everything away, notify Eric before you arrive so he's not doing other things. Like, nah, we're not going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> but other things besides. <laughs> being ready to make your shisha because we did make a fat order and he was just kind of like he wasn't not, he wasn't thrilled with that yeah well our order wasn't too big but someone we went with made a fat order because he was ordering to be well off because I was like it's cheap there so he is making a fat order total when we left was basically four hundred twenty dollars so it's about that's about enough about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> money but I will say. For those who may not <coughs> like or cannot handle when you are, CB, CB or Burley. Burley is going to knock you on your ass. Yeah, so knocking your butt and I'll say it's a better starter for those who haven't tried Tangiers. be an easier way to ease into the Tangiers life. For starters, if you haven't tried Tangiers, buy Burkuk. They have sweeter flavors and less acclimation is needed, if any. Yes, and it takes more heat, so if you manage to burn that, congratulations. But, as far as the flavors go, they're about equal. They're a little stronger since we got them straight from the lounge. And, I don't know, what else is there to add? That's really about yeah, it. About it. So, that's it for now, really. Oh, also, when you go to the lounge, you... He basically just pours the molasses in the bottom of the container and throws the black leaf tobacco on top. So you're going to have fun mixing that up. So don't be alarmed if your tobacco looks dry. It's just how he does it. But, uh, 
I think that's about it for now. Stay tuned. See We're you later. Gonna try to get back into our review game you know, more often since we got a little bit of stuff to review now. But all right, see y'all later. Later, man. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. Drake creep to the mic like a fan. Well, I'm peeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping.